You might recognise this place. This is our third visit. In fact, things have changed a lot inside, all with the help of one company. So let's go and find out how they've not only doubled, tripled turnover, but a lot, lot more. As I alluded to at the beginning, things have changed massively since our first visit and when the company was first bought about five years ago. But it was a one-man band. I'm going to find out how many at the end of the program, how many stuff you've got now, how much turnover has increased with the help of, as you can see in the background, Citizen. But the purchase was sort of on the back of a conversation down the pub? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so my business partner, Piers, a friend of his who played wheelchair tennis, uh, was actually a friend of John Lambert, who also plays wheelchair tennis. And um, we just got talking through that connection, uh, ended up going to see the old business, which was not located here. Um, had a look at the machinery, some of the parts, some of the business, and we decided to take it on. As you do. Now, when you say, so, well, first of all, John, what he knows about, well, what he's forgotten about fasteners is all you've learned, essentially. He, he's forgotten more than I will ever know. That's put he, much more eloquently than I put it. Okay. Yeah. So an absolute legend in fasteners. But the machines you had, they were all pretty much manual machines? Yes, they were all manual machines. So pretty much lathes, pointing machines some press, pressing machines, that type of thing. Okay, but you've moved on massively since then. First purchase, you, you know, thought, right, I've got to go sliding head. So what was your first purchase? So first sliding head machine was uh, an L520. Uh, we've got that machine still installed here now. We cut our teeth on it, learnt our first part, so, uh, and it's you know still doing really well today. And a great example is this part here. I mean, relatively yeah. basic. Yeah, basic threaded stud, 3.8 UNF, 54, 154 millimetres long. And we, we make a series of those parts. They're still made on that machine now, and um, it does the job very well. Okay, but you could do much longer parts on that machine. Yes. Uh, typically, we do up to sort of four or five hundred millimetre long studs. We could do longer if if needed. Why did you go Citizen, and why did you go sliding head, and why did you go second hand? Mm. So we wanted uh, first of all Citizen. Uh, we knew somebody who knew how to run Citizen machines, uh, and he, he sort of helped us get moving and get started. Um, sliding heads. We wanted part complete essentially so you know we didn't want to touch the part again and, and, and sort of do secondary operations where it could be avoided. There you go and just looking here I mean these are some of your, um, some of your standard parts? Well we don't make any standard parts actually so everything is non-standard um, so that is uh, a turn part turn from bar 24 millimeter bar it's got an M6 thread in the end two flats on it it's a regular part that we do. James your first new machine in the L20 with LFD as you'd expect inside the envelope, turning and milling, but why did you choose this machine? Well, it was our first big step into a new machine. Um, the main reason really was to get a machine that was fast, reliable, uh, and also it's the first machine we had that had the LFB capability. Okay, with the LFB, so low frequency vibration, how has that helped your machine? On harder materials, it can help with uh, machining, you know, you can get the material to chip easier. Uh, particularly of benefit to us has been the machining of plastics. Uh, where you would get the bird's nesting of the material typically with a machine without LFB. With this, it comes off in chips. It's very, very good for that. Okay, now your turnover has grown massively. I will come to how much it's grown, but I'm assuming you can run these machines without any trouble 24 7. Pretty much so, yes. Nice and simple. Okay, what I think we need to do then is look at some of the parts you're making. So let's have a look up here. We can't show all the parts, unfortunately, because of NDAs and, and some of the work, but we've got some great small, smallish parts like this. I mean, this is just. I'm going to say a standard part, but you don't do standard parts, just a, just a nut essentially? Yeah, just a nut, uh, but it is from a high tensile stainless material uh, for one of our customers. So we quite often get that. An example of a standard that is a non-standard. Okay, standard, non-standard. Okay, we'll drop that there without losing it. And again, I'm thinking another standard, non-standard, not too complex. Yeah, not too complex. Uh, it is a non-standard part. So uh, a fluid connector essentially with um, you know, some milling and milled hexagon. But having these sliders enabled you to win new business and do this sort of job. Absolutely. And then this this part here, we're working our cameraman hard, he's coming backwards and forwards. Just talk me through what you're doing with this part here. Yeah, qu quite an interesting one actually. Uh, you know, this is produced from solid bar, and you'll notice you've got a, a counter bore inside. So what we do is we go down into the hole, we do some circular interpolation, moving in Z, moving in Y, uh, and also in X. Uh, to produce that uh, counterboard effect inside there. Would you have been able to make this part previously? No. Okay, so it's open new doors, new business for you Absolutely, guys. Absolutely, yeah. Brilliant. So that's your first 
new machine, the L20 LFE. How many sliders have you got now? Seven. Okay, and what size they range from and to? So uh, they're all L20s or L32s, uh, and we've alternated. So throughout the factory, seven of them, um, four 20s and three L32s. Okay, and all within about five years, so a lot yeah. of investment and a lot of help with, with Warren from Citizen. Absolutely, he's a great guy and he's supported us really well. Okay, how does he help you though? Well, I mean, he helps us with our new machine purchasing, but not only that, if we've got technical questions, he's very good at that, being a, an applications engineer himself in the past. So, um, you know, very, very supportive. Yeah. Right, so you've got an L20, L32, so smaller diameter, you want to go bigger. So what was your next move? So we bought the BNE, which was uh, BNE 51. Um, we, we got customers that wanted us to make bigger parts. Uh, we wanted to do that from uh, bar fed material. So we bought that machine and you know, we essentially filled it fairly quickly with um, orders for parts that fit in that category between 32 mil and 51. Okay, but you've got even bigger now. So let's go and have a look at your latest acquisition. James, latest acquisition, ABX. 64SYY2, so Y axis on both turrets, Correct. obviously main spindle, sub spindle. We won't go into the complexities of what's in the envelope, and just to note, the guys are working on the background, so we can't actually get in there at the moment. But why did you go this option? The main reason was to increase our diameter capacity for turn parts from bar. So we, we bought the BNE, that allowed us to go up to 51 millimeter diameter. This is 65 millimeters, uh, so much bigger parts and again you know allows us to serve our customers for those parts that we couldn't do previously. Okay so just taking a step back five years ago one man band you were only doing the smaller parts so having these machines has enabled you to do much bigger parts. That's right yeah. So would you have been out to do it without the help of Citizen? Uh, absolutely not no they've been, they've been brilliant and very supportive to us. Okay and you say that with Warren as well because he's actually been here on the shop floor helping you to make parts. Uh, Warren has helped us through times where we've had difficulties uh, you know where we have been learning the new machines, particularly on the sliders, and we've had problems with it being X applications. He's been very useful right. to. So he's not just a salesman. No, very much so. He's uh, much more than that. Okay, what I want to do is talk through some of the parts because they're great parts. So first of all, this part here. Now yeah. I'm, I'm assuming a seatle. A seatle, yes. Uh, so we turn that from bar. Uh, it's got a number of operations on it: turning, grooving, slotting, some broaching to get the square, uh, the square hole in the end there. Uh, some engraving too. And, and again, you know, we'd, we'd not been able to do that before. Now on the ABX, we're, we're able to do that part. Okay, and the next part, I'm going to make a sweeping statement, aluminium. Yes. And then talk me through what you're doing on this, because it's a nice, complex part. Yeah, so uh, 57 millimetre diameter. So again, we could not have done that previously. Uh, we're, we're turning on that, grooving. We've got threaded holes each side, BSP threaded fittings. Um, we've got an angled hole there in that face, which you can do with the right driven tooling. Right, so just clarify, that hole there is not going straight in, it's actually at an angle there. It's at an angle, yes. Uh, so, a really good example of where you can use both spindles and both turrets to produce simultaneous machining on, on fairly complex part. Is it easy to program? Um, I don't do the programming personally, so uh, I would say yes. Uh, this machine runs on Fanuc. Uh, we've got other machines that run on Fanuc, so that made sense to us, and the guys are familiar with that as a, as a platform. All right, and then just to reiterate, five, six years ago, one man, yeah. no sliders, now you've got how many sliders? Seven, seven and sliders. How many fixed head machines? Three fixed head machines. Would you have been able to get there without the help of the Citizen guys? Uh, they've been great, and I'd say absolutely not. You know, Without their help, uh, I've no doubt we would uh, not be where we are today. Okay, and you're exporting around the world now as well? Yes, we send parts out to Middle East, uh, USA, Canada, various other places. And then the final, I said at the beginning, the big reveal, one man band, I'm going to say it again, one man band, how many staff have you got now? Uh, including the part-timers, I think it's 17 is the number. Okay, uh, and yeah. in terms of turnover, don't give it all away, but, you know, I said it's gone up one, you know, one time, two times, how many times do you reckon turnover's gone up? Uh, from when we started, we are over 10 times what we were. Wow, absolutely amazing, so what a great, great story, that's James and the team. Pat and Parters, all with the help of Citizen.